Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about how I curl my hair. I've been curling my hair for probably the past eight years or so. I don't love the way it looks straight, so I do curl it very often. Also, I find that if I curl it, I don't have to wash it every day. So typically I can get three or four days out of my hair um, whenever I curl it. So I'm just going to go over a lot of uh, different tips and tricks, and then I will show you how I personally curl my own hair. So if you're looking, it first depends on the type of hair you have, whether you have fine hair, hard to curl hair, if you're looking for like a tighter wave uh, um, or like more of a loose, loose wave. Um, so first thing is the size of curling iron you use. You can use a one inch barrel, which is like this. Um, I'm, for my video, I'm going to do a one and a uh, quarter inch, which is like this. And then I also have a, I believe this is a one and a half inch barrel. I don't love this curling iron. Um, every time I use it, I'm thinking it's going to give me really big waves and they tend to just fall out. So, so some different advice as far as the curls go. Um, if you want big waves, you can use a smaller iron, but you have to have your heat turned down lower and hold the curl for less time. Whereas um, if you want to have more of a tight curl, you turn your heat up a little higher or you hold it for a longer amount of time. So you can still get loose waves with the smaller size curling iron. All right, so um, first I am just going to put some dry shampoo in my hair. Um, if you watched my last video, you know that I use a ton of that. I use the Batiste's. All right, and I'm just gonna spray it in my roots. My two hair goals are to have big hair and to not have to wash it. So if I can wake up the next day and have volume and also not have to wash it, that is like a major win for me. Okay, all right, so I've got the dry shampoo in and I am gonna section my hair off. I don't always section my hair, um, but it can, can be a little easier whenever I do. So, now that my hair is a little shorter, a lot of times, if you can see, like, my bottom layer is really short. So, a lot of times, I'll run a straightener over that layer just because if it gets too curly, I feel like I look like a poodle. <laughs> All right. So, and this is pretty hot. This is also a really long barrel curling iron. Now that my hair is a little shorter, it doesn't work as well, but... Um, it's fine. Okay, so whenever I first started curling my hair, I would always start at the bottom. I'll just, I'll show you really quick. So I would start at the bottom and go like this, um, which is great. But whenever you do that, you have this like heavy curl down here and your hair's really straight up here. So if you want volume and you want your curls to be a little bit more like that beachy wave look, it's better to start up here. So this is what I do. You wanna start as close to your root as you can. And you're just gonna kind of twirl your hair through the iron. All right, see that? And also another thing, instead of like going down here and doing it to give a little bit more volume, you want to kind of lift your hair up. And I'm just doing little, probably two inch sections. And I try to leave the ends out the best I can. Okay. That section, I probably should have started a little closer to my root. And you just kind of let it out. Hmm, that one didn't turn out as good. I'll come back to that one. I'll give it a minute to cool. Mm. Let me just reclip this. All right, so like I said, 
Don't hold your hair down here. You want to lift it up and start pretty close to your root. And you're just kind of slowly letting more hair out and feeding it through. Okay, like that. And typically you don't want to hold the curl very long on the bottom section of your hair. You kind of want it to be a little bit more straight right here, kind of like on that side. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna leave this bottom part straight because I feel like I look like a poodle whenever I curl it. All right, so now I'm just sectioning my hair off again. I typically will do two to three uh, sections. All right, and just to kind of make sure I get all of my hair. <laughs> this looks crazy. All right, um, just kind of like bring it all forward so you can find the pieces you haven't curled yet. And then once again, you're gonna lift your hair up and you're gonna start at the root. See that? Okay, I'll probably just put like a little curl in that piece since I kind of missed it. Oh yes, and I forgot to mention this earlier. You always want to turn the curls away from your face. So, um, some people do alternate their curls back and forth. So let's say that you start curling your first piece this way, then on your second piece you would curl it this way, but always the pieces around your face you wanna curl back. On that section, I probably could have started it a little closer to my root. All right, so the last section, the top section, is actually my least favorite part to curl. Um, some people still like start the curl up really high, but personally, I like them to. I like it to not be as curly in this top section. So I will typically start the curls a little lower. I like the front section to be probably the least curled of all, so I typically won't bring it as high and don't leave it on as long. Okay. All right, so there you go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna give it a second to dry. Not dry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna give it a second to cool off a little bit. Oh, and this curling iron is a, it, the brand is Pro Beauty Tools. I got it from Target a few years ago. Um, really, you can use any type of curling iron. Um, it's really just your preference. I probably only paid like $20 for this. Okay, so now that my hair has cooled down a little bit, I am going to run my fingers through it. As you can see, like my hair is a lot straighter right here just because I didn't um, put the curls up nearly as high. So before I put hairspray in it, I typically will go ahead and put a texturizing spray in it. Um, this is the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Undone Texture Hairspray. I got this for free. That's the only reason why I'm using it. Um, I really like it though, but you just want to add some texture back into your hair so it doesn't look so polished. So the way it works, you just kind of mess your hair up a little bit. And 
then just kind of run your fingers through it a little more. All right. And you can uh, call it a day there or go ahead and add some more hairspray. Um, another tool or another trick that I saw that I thought was pretty cool is like doing like this. Like kind of like hairspraying as you let your hair down to kind of help get some more volume okay all right there it is that is how I curl my hair um it works just as well if you have longer hair like I said a lot of, if you have longer hair you would probably want to curl your bottom layer I just personally don't um I will link all of the products I used in the description and if you have any questions let me know and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video thanks